my name is Abby Thomas and I'm from Mrs. Barlow's English 1301 class. I'm going to be reviewing Aaron Brockovich. Imagine what it would be like to lose everything. Lose the person you thought you would spend the rest of your life with, have no money, no job, and we have three young children that you have to take care of alone. Well, this is exactly what Aaron Brockovich went through. The film Aaron Brockovich, which is directed by Steven Soderbergh, tells the story of Aaron Brockovich, a single mom who faces many struggles. The film informs the viewer about the real life story and focuses on the theme of the victory of the underdog. Aaron Brockovich is a single mother with three young children. After getting hit by a doctor, she tries to sue him. Unfortunately, she does not get the money that she thought she would have to tide her over for a while. So this leaves her within $17,000 of debt. She eventually hires herself at her lawyer's firm. Ed Masary, who is her lawyer, objects in the beginning, but he loses the battle. While working with him, Brockovich gets suspicious about a court case that involves real estate. This big company, PG&E, was trying to buy this family's home. The, fam the company was paying for the family's medical bills, which was also really suspicious. So the family was trying to keep their house, but the company wanted to buy it from them for some reason. It turns out that the big company had negligently polluted the water and the water of many homes with chromium, which is a harmful substance. This harmful substance can cause people to contract different illnesses and diseases, and it did in the movie. In the end, after a long and strenuous battle, Brockovich and Masary win the case. One element that really adds to the story is the setting. If this film had been set in anywhere else besides California and the United States, it would not make sense at all. The setting shows what life in California was like in the two, early 2000s. It shows the freedom that women had to get involved with the workforce as opposed to what it would be like in Korea or in Russia. The fact that Brockovich sort of lives in a part of the town that's not the safest adds to her personality and why her character acts so not obnoxious but loud. Another element is the point of view. The film is set in Aaron Brockovich's point of view so you see everything that happened to her during that time and you see how and why she acts to certain things and it really showed how dedicated she was to her work. In the film she said this is not personal this is my work my sweat and my time away from my kids if that's not personal i don't know what is overall this film was very good the way the story was approached by the director and the way the characters were represented makes everything fit well and makes the representation so great the characters development was shown in a way that makes you want to empathize with them and want them to win and it makes you feel like they're really good-natured people. I would recommend this film to people who are in their teens and up. Although it's a really good film to watch, it may not be suitable to kids who are younger than 14. There are some concepts that are just more appropriate to people of an older age. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy and please watch the movie.